first child, second child, third child, fourth child. I feel like these are a bit too small though. <laughs> we'll do to 12. After 12 o'clock is enough, please. I need to go and sleep. <laughs> That's just like my own two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents. So this is one leaving London can do to a person. I, I really am strange. <laughs> Hello people, good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to the park because it is based for perspectives or conversation made style. If you're new here, hi, what's up, what's poppin', lock and drop and stoppin'. My name is Tumi, I make all sorts of videos from fashion, conversation, lifestyle, and everything in between. So, this is a very interesting day. Guys, it's about past, it's around past six. I'm on my way to Heathrow because I have to catch a flight. Remember, I've shown you guys <laughs> back with me video. <laughs> and my flight is for 7:45. tell me why i set three alarms and i slept through all of them as in all three i didn't hear any one of them and that has been happening to me or rather it's happened to me a few times recently when i'm super exhausted but yeah you know what let me just not get deep into it we can chat more about it when i settle down in the airport by the grace of god i'm not gonna miss this flight <laughs> and yeah then we can speak about like how I actually managed to finish running out of the house. But stay tuned because we are going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you? Well, it's a little Einstein's reference if you didn't catch that. Guys, guess what? I actually made it, which is just crazy because if you guys understand how much of a rush that I was in to catch this flight. So I was telling you the story, I woke up and then I was groggy. I just saw my phone and I saw 5.48 or something like that. Literally the sleep in my, it disappeared so fast. And it's so crazy because I remember the day before I had this hunch that I was going to be rushing for my flight. I also had this other hunch like, oh, pack up everything, zip up your suitcase, put your clothes out. You're not going to have time to shower again. So like shower right now. And I was just thinking, oh, maybe you're being paranoid. Like to me, it should be fine. Turns out that this was actually the Holy Spirit basically prepping me for the rush that I had to go through this morning. But I thank God, because even when I was like panicking in the bathroom, there's this song that I love so much. It's called Breathe by Dosir Ekwap. Because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to miss my flight. Blah, 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 blah. And then I just started hearing the song, which is one of the ways God speaks to me. And basically saying, breathe. You're not going to miss your flight. You're going to get the flight. But yeah, close call. And then to top it all off, after I finished, and when I got to the airport, checked in, etc., etc., someone was so cute enough to favor me. Gave me a free hot chocolate alongside my stuff. But we are off to Croatia for a wedding. Special announcement for customers traveling to Splits this morning via 526 service. We'd like to apologize for a slight delay in boarding your service this is due to last minute gate change from a to turns out that there's delays anyway guys i saw my sisters at the airport do you know who my sister was she had this really cute broken 25 black silver hardware she was also wearing the chanel sling bags the heeled version and had a cropped leather jacket i was like you have no idea who the heck i am but we're sisters we are sisters like there's like something going on between me and you i know it even though you don't know it i know it so yeah that was really cool and i really can't wait to buy my babies you guys you guys might be sick of me once i get my children <laughs> honestly i'm so excited for the day that we do the unboxing and we're gonna have to get this clip and be like i'm so excited and we'll have like a playback being like do you remember when she said this but yeah i feel like i'm finally my energy levels are finally picking up again because I was like freaking out when I was like at home. But I mean, the Holy Spirit told me you're not going to miss your flight show, which was really good. Thank you, Jesus. But yeah, I'm really excited for the next two days. I think it'd be nice to meet new people, be out of London because God knows that the city sometimes just, I'm like, I need to change. Hello my YouTube family. Guess who finally arrived in sunny Croatia? I think first first thoughts is that this airport is so clean. 
very, very clean. It's giving me like Japan vibes. I remember like when we landed in Tokyo. Well, I don't actually remember if the airport itself was clean, but like the streets of like Tokyo are so clean. But yeah, that was a very short flight. I slept through the majority of it. And I'm really loving my new camera. It's allowing me to film so much and I'm so excited. Like just the ease at which I've been able to film content is great. I think I also had another thought, like once I landed in Croatia, I was like, I actually really love my job. I really love my job. I know I'm always like teasing you guys that I'm forever working for you people. <laughs> but no, like I love my job. And I think the ability to be able to get a job that you love is aligned to your purpose. And you are actually like passionate about everything you do, like all the intersections can only be a gift from God. Honestly speaking, because if you had told me that this would be my job, I would have laughed at you. But let's not get too deep because we are in Croatia. We're here to have a good time. We don't want too much deep talk. So yeah, the plan for today, gonna get my suitcase. Well, I should definitely get my suitcase. It's so funny because I was doing like a what's in my bag for TikTok. And the thing I put in my bag that is probably the most, you know, prized possession, my prized possession is my Bottega knot clutch in gold because it's like gold dust to find it. Well, if you catch the drift. But yeah, that is one of like my most prized possessions. So I don't put that in my hand luggage. Cause I was like, God forbid if my suitcase doesn't come, at least my baby will be with me. But anywho, we, we can't do that because I have dresses and I have outfits that I need to wear. So no, but let's not chat too much. Should be really fun. I'm excited. Are you guys? Can you see what I mean by this place is clean? Like what on earth? I know it might seem like a tiny thing, but it's just crazy. I don't think, I think it's probably like the cleanest European city I've ever been to. Wow. Yeah, I know we didn't come here for the cleanliness, so let's try and get a taxi and skedaddle. Look at my roommate, and I just happened to catch her as she's coming back from her run. So guys, this is the room. Oh, it looks like she's clean. Clean girl. Oh, this, you know, it's crazy. I've never in my life seen a Le Meridian. Okay, I probably butchered the name, sorry. That is this nice. Like what? This is so nice. No offense to them, right? But yeah, this is so, so nice. Oh, my babies, Mr. Power Closet. I saw our children, look. So many children. Let me show you. First child, second child, third child, fourth child. I feel like these are a bit too small though. <laughs> I was thinking our children would be a little bit bigger. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is such a nice room. Crazy. So, so nice. Bathroom, like, whoa. So this is my luggage for two days. <laughs> this is my luggage. And my roommate's luggage is this one. This backpack over here it's such a wonderful mm. difference what do you guys think do you guys pack light clearly i'm learning how to pack light learning i think we're going to do some exploring soon what do you guys think do you want to do some exploring sure no i told you not take me <laughs> <laughs> okay guys I unpacked, which is a first for me, because I actually never unpack. So those are laminated stuff. But I actually decided to get another dress. Well, not get another dress. I had this in my wardrobe already, and I'll show you guys when I'm getting ready. So that's one option. This one I tried on for you already. This is the dress that I'm wearing for the wedding. And then this one is for the day out on Tuesday. In terms of shoes, we have quite an array. So I brought a few options. So we have Celine, Paris, Texas, Hermes, and Mango. These are so cute. I feel like they remind me of Manolo Blahniks. These are the bags for rotation. So Bottega Veneta, Mango Mango. And then that's a gift from my friend. Yeah, so I've unpacked. Anamide is in the shower. And then I am going to go and explore. I feel like it's such a sunny day. Honestly, the first thing that I thought about once I landed was I genuinely feel like the sun is an antidepressant because just being in a sunny place, and of course, seeing the yachts. <laughs> I'm not joking. I am not joking. And of course, seeing the yachts made me, it just kind of lifted my spirits. I was like, oh God, 
I suddenly feel more well. I wish I could stay longer though, but unfortunately this is a really short trip. But still nonetheless, I'm very grateful. So thank you Papa for insisting that I come. But yeah, I'm really excited to explore, stay in the sun. I think I need some vitamin D. And then we're gonna do our makeup together and yeah, crack on with the rest of the evening. But yeah, I'm really liking, thank God I actually brought another option because the thing about me is that when I'm going to like a wedding or any event, I like to match my outfit to, why am I wearing my sunglasses? Sorry. I like to match my outfit to the vibe or the feel of the place. Like, yes, I saw the pictures online, so I thought it would work, like the polka dots that I showed you. But then I came here and the feel of the hotel is more resorty. Like it, it gives more resort, which is why like last minute I just packed an extra dress. I was like, just in case I change my mind, because there's nothing that drives me nuts more than when I don't want to wear something and I don't have you back up. And also, by the way, you guys are on this channel. You are like here with me. One of the biggest flexes I feel like a woman can have is pulling an outfit from your wardrobe. Like something that I really love is the idea of when you invite me for something, I'm not going to go and start shopping. No, I pull it from my wardrobe. I think every lady should have at least one or two dresses for like cocktail evenings or like a party that if you had like a last minute thing, you can just pull it. So you don't have to like go and buy something. That's just like my own two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents. I'm so strange. So this is what leaving London can do to a person. I, I really am strange. <laughs> actually so cute and so blue oh I really like it we decided to take a tour of the hotel the hotel is really nice I feel like the weather I mean like I'm not wearing like a cardigan or anything it's actually really really nice I wonder what the temperature is I'm probably around like 20 or something of that sort and yeah like the water is so blue in Croatia and so beautiful Obviously, I can't even imagine what it would be like in summertime. It probably would be like super packed. Oh, I mean, you know, I love the sound of the waves. Yeah. It's yeah. so calming. Yes. Very calming. Yeah, I was going to say, there's this thing on TikTok called dapping up tents. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Where like you see, I don't know if it's only girls that do it, but like ladies basically like go around and then they'll see like a guy. Uh -huh. And then if they think he's a 10, yeah. they will like shake him like randomly on they'll the streets. They'll just go and meet him and they'll do like, like, They'll be like, shake him or I think sometimes they even do like some funny handshake. Yeah. People they've never met before, people they've never spoken to on the streets. Okay. So I've they seen this. The video online, they will so not post the video online. It's basically like, oh, like all the ten. tens that they like, he's a 10. What would you do if that it was your man that a random girl came to sit there? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say thank you. Oh, I saw one video where she was like, you know, you're not dapping off my man. Oh. <laughs> she got, she was like, no, you're not doing it. To be honest, I think, what would I do? I'd be flattered. Yeah, I know he's a 10, thanks. You know, I would not even understand it for me too. <laughs> That's true. Well, I mean, it definitely will not understand it. But I feel for like, for me, the one is like, don't put it on TikTok. So I'm like, no, hi, no, thank you. What about you guys? Would you, would you let them dap up your man? No, but obviously I'm finding where they are sleeping. Yeah, it would be a bit strange. Just see a stranger randomly no, come no, and start no, shaking no, his just come and take his yeah, hand and take his hand yeah that's what they do take his hand oh, okay. but i think if you're on tiktok you understand so he'll just laugh and he'll, he'll do it with you i mean it's a compliment at the end of the day <laughs> well, I'm giving him boundaries said he cannot be on tiktok I don't, I don't say, what happened to your job <laughs> i think we'll both not be on Okay, freshly showered. Thank goodness, I'm sure I look like a ghost, but I'm about to change that. Guys, I spoke about this in my last video. I've recently become, not recently, but I'm becoming more and more of a diehard Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury skincare girl, because this is amazing. I remember the day that I bought this. Now, something that I've learned is that siblings, in my opinion, they don't compliment you. <laughs> they don't compliment you. I remember the day that I got this, my brother was like, oh, what did you do to your skin? Your skin looks so nice. My sister said the same thing. One of my best friends said the same thing. And I was like, the only thing that I had changed was this. 
And this is their Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. It's so good. Like, I love it so, so much. I have to shout out Katie Fang because she's the one that put me onto this from TikTok. And yeah, like, I've been hooked. I bought so many bottles of it already since I became hooked to it earlier this year. Apparently, it has, like, everything. So all your vitamin Cs and all the beautiful stuff you need to stay younger and beautiful like i'm too addicted to more you know you when they say just small but somebody's packing on her face <laughs> oh my god i got a facial a few days ago so my skin is still sorish but it's all good so we're done with prep another product i recently got again <laughs> Gitty fang Clearly, I'm on TikTok too much, but this is the magic cream. Like, unless you live on that rock, let me not assume, but everyone raves about this and about how apparently it doubles up as a primer. So I decided to get this. I've tried it once and it felt pretty good and very like hydrating. So yeah. I feel like that was way too much. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. It feels so good on okay, your neck. You don't want your neck looking ashy. You don't want no ashy neck. And then you got to get those juicy lips. Topicals. I've tried quite a few lip balms, but I mean it when I say that the best lip balm I have ever bought in my life, and I do not know any other lip balm that compares to this, is the Topicals lip balm. They did not pay me to, see the, to say this. It is amazing. Don't get me wrong, like I love road, but in terms of moisture and being able to keep your lips juicy for a really long time, Top Girls is insane. It's so good. So we're prepped for makeup, which is really good. I'm not going to be filming me doing my makeup because I just feel like that'll just be way too long, but I will show you the look once I'm done. I'm done with my makeup now. Yeah, it's time to get ready now. So this is the fun part. I actually changed my outfit, so I'm no longer wearing the polka dots one that I showed you in the pack with me. We're doing something different. So, shall we see it? This is the new dress. It's lavender. Very feminine. Very pretty. Very ladylike. You know how... Very cutesy. Okay, I've said very en enough times. <laughs> but you guys know how much I love, like, feminine dresses. So, this is why I decided to change it. I just felt like... I just felt like the other one was a bit... I don't know, more serious than I would like. I want this to be like flirty, floaty, if you get the vibe. Let me actually put it on and then you'd understand what I mean. Hello, my angels. So dress on. I've also used my famous nude boob tape. I love how like flirty and like floaty it is. Inaki. So we're gonna go white shoes and then these. I'm gonna go this bag. I really like it. And what's the last thing? Jewelry. Look at how I put my jewelry. Okay, all done. I'm going to pack my bag now. So setting powder from Huda Beauty, lip gloss, and I think that's pretty much it. This perfume. Okay, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye. Guys, we had a wonderful time. Wonderful, oh, oops. Well, clearly it's wonderful. But I'm gonna put some like clips I've, I've had a little bit uh, of some, you know, spicy, spicy. Alamidi, how was it? Did you enjoy yourself? She said she had a fantastic time. It was so good. We had so much fun. I think the thing that I love the most is I'm really a 90s, 90s baby. Anything that has to do with like 90s music, 2000s, I'm there. Like, I am so there. Another thing, guys, I have to put you onto this. So these shoes, thank God I ended up going for them. I feel like I'm going to wear the same shoe again tomorrow. These shoes are like from Mango. I think I got them for $35.99. They remind me of the Manolo Blahnik Kalamuz. So the Kalamuz are probably, I, I think they're 750 pounds. And these are $35.99. So obviously the heel height is different from the Kalamuz. But they are so comfortable. I feel like I might even look for another color. This is probably one of the most comfortable meals I've ever had in my life. I had such a great night. Such a great night. I absolutely love this dress. This is from another stories. I don't think I even said that at all. And the earrings are Zara. The rings are Zara. This is a gift from my mom. Really, really fantastic time. Olamide and I now are going to get on ready. And then we have already... Are you laughing at me? 
she's <laughs> laughing at my job, guys. This is my job. <laughs> <laughs> get on red please don't come and naked yourself here i will not do that okay so we're going to get on ready and then we have ordered club sa so i have this you know you have you forgotten i have that tradition the club sandwich yeah every time i travel i have to order a club sandwich it's actually i don't know if it's becoming a spiritual thing now at this point <laughs> <laughs> like every country every city i go to i can't leave the holiday unless i get a club sandwich i don't want to, i i'm trying to believe that it's not a spiritual thing at this point in time i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking but yeah that's the last thing and then we're going to watch some tv but i think that's gonna be it and i'm gonna have to see you guys tomorrow i hope you have enjoyed every single thing i just thought it would be a little bit cross to be you know vlogging at the wedding so no thank you or the welcome event but i hope you guys have enjoyed Bye, see you tomorrow. Good morning. morning. She's been laughing at me saying that it's good to travel to TikTok. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Kilo share my day. That means what is wrong with this child. Okay, guys, she is all dressed, ready for breakfast. Clearly, I am not. But I'm about to do that right now. So we're going to get some breakfast now. And then we're going to go for a promenade. Ah-ah! Uh -uh. oh, no. Promenade! I see she ready. <laughs> this girl's really feeling herself. So we're going to have a prom... That promenade just reminds me... You know Bridget said, we're just going to go have a promenade. Promenade? Promenade? Go promenade me. But yeah, we're going for a promenade after breakfast <laughs> so you guys can see i have this mania de voix set in so many colors and now i'm wearing it in brown this one is a little bit more cropped on the top but it's cool and then just celine sunnies the way i slept hey guys yesterday night they were going for an after party after the party and i was like no please like alarm day and i ran after the old older uh, mommies and daddies and we went to sit with them we're like please when you're going we're going with you <laughs> because I realized that, look, I'm just not that girl. It was like 11 p.m. You want to go for a party after? Won't we be Are going? they still today? Uh-uh. Mm. Are you not tired? So, no. I said I'm going home. I'm not promenading in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. Okay, all done. Sunnies. Let me take my mic now, actually. Okay, so this is the Mania de Voix set. It's, this one is a little bit more cropped, so showing a bit more midriff. And then I'm going to pair it with my Hermes slides. Can you imagine that this is just to go down to breakfast? When I tell you guys that, you have to look good. All the time. All the time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is breakfast. Well, this is more alarm day than it is breakfast. <laughs> See, this is breakfast. I got a bit of everything, some eggs. Yeah, pretty. Now I'm going to eat, and you're not gonna watch me eat. So I'll see you later. You're looking at me in awe. <laughs> <laughs> So we had a wonderful breakfast. We did. Ended up having such an interesting debate about walking with God, hearing from God. We're going to go for a promenade. Was this part of a promenade? <laughs> no, let's go promenade by the beach. I feel like, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> when people talk about this topic, Bonjour, this is the restaurant. Yeah. Bonjour. Don't make me oh. <laughs> Grazia. <Grazie>. This is <laughs> such a nice restaurant. So this is the Marina. Guys. That's that's true, thank you. You know, every time I see a yacht, there's something that comes alive in me. I'm just like Mr. Power Closet. I was gonna say pick your poison, but I said go for a bit. Um <laughs> pick the one that you want your girl to be on. Honestly, whenever I see a yacht. This, I come alive. I actually come alive because I love boats so much. I feel like if I had to choose my guilty pleasure, it would probably be a boat. Oh, so calming. It's such a nice day. Loving how it's not busy. I hate it when the beach is so busy. But what I would have liked just to 
guess when that boat sail into the sunlight. Oh, <laughs> put on my bikini, jump into the ocean. More like the Adriatic Sea, but yeah, you get my point. I really feel like I need to go and sleep though. The parents are leaving the party at 12 o'clock today. Do you know what time I'm leaving? I'm going with the parents again. <laughs> I will not be staying out like an owl. <laughs> So let me just confess, I'm not that girl, man. I'm not the oosh, 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 oosh. We'll do oosh, oosh, to 12. After 12 o'clock is enough, please. I need to go and sleep. Ah. Hi, YouTube family. So I'm done doing my makeup. Today is the day of the wedding. It's 2.50. We're meant to be ready in 10 minutes. My roommate is not back from doing her makeup. She went to one of our friends to get hers done. But I thought I'll walk you through what my outfit for today is. So I'm thinking these earrings, let me try and put it in focus. So I got these earrings from Zara years ago. So top tip, I feel like Zara, sometimes I can slay them because sometimes they're actually really not the greatest. But then one thing I think they do really well is actually costume jewelry. So if you want affordable jewelry that kind of jazzes up an outfit and it's not necessarily your gold or your diamonds or anything fancy, Zara is a really, really great place. So it's this and let me grab my dress. So my dress is from a brand called Rachel Gilbert. Clearly, I feel like my entire look for the last two days has been more pastel colored, but that wasn't intentional. I was actually supposed to wear black and white yesterday. And then the day before I was like, I don't really feel like this is giving Croatia. I want something that gives Croatia and Croatia just felt more lavender like yesterday. and. Today, for the wedding, I'm wearing pink. So very girly, very feminine, eh, feminine, <laughs> very feminine rather, and very ladylike. I'm going to wear it, show you my shoes, and then we can chit chat. Okay, my YouTube family, this is my full outfit. Um, you guys really should follow me on TikTok. I promise I'm more active there. But yeah, I'm about to head off. Everything all done. I was just doing like, some TikToks really before I go. But yeah, I was actually very on time and on schedule today, which is amazing. See ya. I stepped into the room and the first thing I said was, let me update my family oh. members. <laughs> I see YouTube. I thought there was a normal family. No, my internet family. This, this family. <laughs> yeah, this family. <laughs> Guys, a time was had. So we had a fantastic time. I will put pictures and videos. I don't even think I took that many videos today. Mm. or pictures today like so much time yeah like i feel like my role with these like vlogs especially if i'm going for like weddings or like events is everything pre and then when i come back i can show you what happened there like but without giving away too much of the couple's privacy so i just feel like that's just not what i want to be doing um especially as this channel gets bigger and bigger so yeah i will put stuff all the while on the sides to show you that a time was had. It was really fun. Lots of dancing. Um, my makeup held up so well. Guys, I am loving the Charlotte Tilbury primer. I feel like it's absolutely incredible. And when I say primer, I actually mean the magic cream that doubles up as a primer because my makeup is not moving. I'm like, what did she? And this is two nights in a row. So I'm really, really becoming a Charlotte Tilbury girl. But anyway, I am going to sleep because it's been a long day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, YouTube family. Good morning, good morning. Again, we have another roundup of the night before. So it was really fun. The wedding was super cute. I love something from the wedding, actually. They had a no phones policy during the ceremony, which I absolutely love. And I feel like I'm going to incorporate that for my own wedding because I felt like because of that, it meant that everyone had to be super present. So, you know, usually when everyone has their phones out, the bride is coming, everybody's ringing out cameras or like, you know, when they're saying their vows, which can be quite intimate, people are like recording it. And, and I think for me, the kind of person that I am is I have a very public job, but I'm an extremely private person. I love my privacy. I, I love it so much, especially like when I think about like my husband and my family, excuse me. So when they did the whole no phones policy, I've seen extremes, not extremes, but I've seen like another variation of this where people like you know get like buckets or whatever and then you have to dump your phones before you go into the ceremony i don't think i want to do that but i feel like the ceremony no phones policy i'm going to be adopting it i just went straight into it guys it's so funny because when i woke up and she was like have you spoken to your family as in my youtube family i was like no i haven't spoken to them let me go speak to them 
because um you know we have to catch up and i have to let you guys know how the day went or rather the night went but yeah it was really fun really nice today is our last day in croatia so I'm hoping I'd be able to like give you guys some like exploring or something fun beyond, you know, hotel and the resort that we've been in in Croatia for the last two days. We had a really good time, my dress and like I'll just put pictures from like the night, the dress, like the scenery, that kind of stuff. But obviously, you know, like crazy pictures from the, like the vowel parts. I'm not going to be showing any of that or like her dress and stuff. No, just like you can see people having fun and all sorts of good stuff. I'm extremely tired. I feel like I never know how tired I am. But right now, I'm just like, to me, you actually need to rest. Anywho, before we get into that, let me show you my outfits for the day. I showed you guys this when we were doing Pack With Me last week. So this is a dress from Yuan Day Lag. The dress is super beautiful. I feel like it's so ladylike, very feminine. Then I'm pairing it with my Hermes sandals. So these are probably my favorite Oran sandals from them. They're like the Dabka... Um, I, think I think it's called Dabka or something. I don't know. I bought them a while ago. They still look beautiful, even though they broke. And then I got them fixed by Timpsons and Selfridges. And then just... So, like, it's so interesting because these shoes, I probably got them for about 700 pounds. Like, it was definitely 700 or 720 or something about that, something around that price point years ago. And now it is 1,300 and something. And I was like, oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And then this is the bag I'm carrying out. Very resort friendly, very chic, very nice. And of course, how can we be going out, Croatia, you know, broad daylight with no sunglasses? So, to tie things into the black, have Celine and then. That's pretty much it. I really, really like this. I think it's super stylish and it's so comfortable. I'm very ladylike and you guys know how much I love my ladylike stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Alarm day right now is showering, but once she's out of the shower, we've already like packed our stuff. My suitcase is like right there and we're just going to check out and then probably ask the like concierge what they think we should do because a lot of the tours in Croatia, well, in Split, are very focused around water and i love water but i mean we obviously don't have that kind of time and also being with the hotel being right by the marina seeing all the beautiful yachts it would be nice to just hop on one but uh we don't have that type of time let's see what we get up to and i will report back shortly So, guys, we are finally in town. It's so pretty. It feels like we're in town. Yeah, it feels like we're in town. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. You see, let everybody see, hear, hear your aggression yes. on the internet. <laughs> let them hear you. You are doing cute, cute, cute. Now, now they're seeing the true yes. state of yourself. Do you know how you know that you're in town? When you see the tourist traps lined, lined ready to guess you guys. So, we are in the city center of Split. I think the goal is literally just to get some walking and to just get a feel of the area, which we're really looking forward to. And then obviously at the end, we want to get some lunch. Because we're by the seaside, I can't imagine getting back on that flight to London without having seafood pasta. Like what? So are you making fun of me? No, nope, never. So that is the goal for today. But yeah, stay tuned. My friend and I have a tradition. We literally get each other a treat from wherever it is we travel to. So this is a souvenir shop. And I'm thinking I might get her a fridge magnet because she collects them. And this is really cool, it's hand painted. And um, yeah, they have some cool stuff. So, are you getting anything? Yep. <laughs> Bouncy. Bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Olam's. This is Tombs. And um, yeah, so we're going to go in, have a bit of a browse. I love the old town feel and how like easy it is walking. That smells really nice. Mm. I feel like every time I'm on holiday, I'm always... 
<laughs> you see my nose. What is that? Okay, so this is our first stop. I am not even quite sure the name of the place, but I'll put it on the screen and also because I'm pretty sure that I'll butcher the name. But uh, by the looks of how many tourists there are, I'm pretty confident that, ooh, it's Sphinx. So, yeah, let's see. So we are at lunch and do you guys remember that place that I showed you that's right by the marina? Let me try and just give you guys a new view. So the marina is there. These are where all um, my, ch my future children are docked. I think they were warming up a potential child for me. But yeah, we are just going to have some lunch. The pizza here smells amazing. So we're going to try it and see if it lives up to how good it smells. Like someone entered the elevator today and I had to turn back to us, oh, please, where did you get the pizza? <laughs> Leaving like a hungry girl. But that's what we're going to try. I'm going to have some pasta too. I hope, do they have seafood pasta? Do they have it? Oh, yay, wait, where? Oh yeah, the, the clam, shrimps, mussels, white wine. I don't know if I want to share. But yeah, should be good fun. We're going to go back to our chat, a girl chat that I can't really put on the internet. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so this is a chicken pizza. Um, and then this is the pasta, which, wow, that looks like a lot of food. So thankfully, we are going to be sharing. You see, sometimes it's good to not be greedy. Well, <laughs> most times you it's want to be greedy. greedy. I wanted to be greedy. And I love the one and I were like, okay, you know what? This is actually greed. Let's actually just share both. So... You guys know the jam. I don't like to record while some eating. Guys, we finished the food. Like, I'm so embarrassed to it's show so you. Mean. <laughs> Please, can you stop shouting like that? <laughs> yes, I don't think. As we were saying, guys, the seafood pasta was amazing. I'm too ashamed to show you the plates because we demolished it. And it was really good to not be greedy because the portions were just a lot. I'm so full. I don't think I'm going to eat anything until I get back. Like, I'm not eating anything. Let's just get on the flight and go back home. Oh, yeah. Well, should we get it? <laughs> <laughs> just, should we get dessert? That's what I'm saying. Nothing again. Sorry. You guys know that I really like food. I think we should get it. Let's look at the menu at least. I think we should. Or should we go and look for gelato? Maybe we should walk, walk, walk down. Yeah. Let's walk down because we've only seen. Should we walk down there? Yeah, we can walk down there. Okay, so let's just pretend I didn't say what I said five seconds ago. But there's two things that's on my mind. One, the fact that we have to actually go back to London. Two, the fact that once I get back to London, my routine and like my work just like, which is normal life starts, get back into it. There's no stopping. I have training tomorrow, like PT. I have so much to edit, but it's okay. That's just life. It's just life. It's just life. Work keeps going on. Uh uh, um, look at you. So cute. Yeah, but the tide is so high. Olamide has been taking the piss. So you see, yachts have names, or at least that's what <laughs> is implied by all the stuff that's at the back. So this is called Viva La Vida. This is called uh, Ohana. There was another one called Brown Sugar. And then <laughs> well, Amri was yeah. suggesting that we call my lady Tumilino and I'm like <laughs> Tumilino and she keeps saying with that annoying <laughs> voice Tumilino it doesn't seem to give it has a ring to it it doesn't, no, no, it doesn't have a ring to it it doesn't no <laughs> I know that's my name but uh, I was like no it gives exotic man it's not giving exotic it's, it's not oh, as like, commercial as I was like I don't, I'm not saying my name is not commercial I'm just saying the way you're saying lady Tumilino <laughs> it's not what I want to name my my baby in. Oh no, I don't think I can find but <laughs> it means too much. It does seem to be the Hi 
everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Croatia. And you've met my friend Olamide. I hope you... She's kind of popped in and out, but we're now at the airport. I'm going my way, she's going hers. I don't know, that's why <laughs> our flight leaves five minutes apart. Yeah. But I mean, I'm landing in Luton, she's landing in Gatwick. Anywho, but Miles that's the end. Miles apart, so far apart. Do you know, we we're just posting some stuff on Instagram and we're gonna end, that's gonna be it. We're gonna say the caption at the end, but I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. The same way we said on Instagram, what did we say? One, two, three. <laughs> What's better? Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, go. What's better than one baddie? Two. <laughs> Oh no, seriously. Since he has infected me, I'm not like this. Okay. Bye guys. See you soon.